When you're thinking about buying a beehive, you have a couple of choices to make. What is right for you as a beekeeper and what is right for your bees? While bees are quite adaptive and will live in lots of different hive styles, imagine having a beehive that keeps your bees healthier, more productive and reduces their stress. You see, insulation really matters for bees. Today I want to discuss a relatively new hive on the market, it's known as the Hive IQ. While there are numerous innovations in their design, the standout factor for me is the fact that it's got six times the insulation of a standard Langstroth wooden beehive. This increased thermal performance helps honeybees stay warm and dry during cold winters and cool throughout our hot summers. When honeybees are freed from the task of maintaining the temperature, it enables them to focus on the other important activities such as foraging, hive hygiene and brood rearing. What does this mean for you and your bees? Superior insulation enables faster spring buildup of new brood rearing, leading to larger, more productive workforces earlier in the season. The other two benefits of the Hive IQ are one, the price. They're probably one of the cheapest hives on the market. Great value for the money. And two, they're lovely and lightweight. Any beekeeper knows the strain and pain you can get from living, lifting a heavy hive, and these are really light. So if you want to keep your bees healthier and productive, it's definitely worth taking a look at the Hive IQ. They are actually made out of a very thick polystyrene, and you can see even around the rims here, these, these rims actually have a, a hive tool protection on them built in and also a lovely uh, edge to them that actually stops any pests like small hive beetle getting into the hive. So when you close this lid, it actually does sort of close properly and there's no way of uh, pests or any pathogens sort of getting in through the side there. I guess the important thing about this is that it is a nine frame configuration. Now you can see here, I've got a, um, a small hive beetle trap that again just sits at the top. Uh, I'm using in here, this is a, a frame feeder which you can get, this is a two frame feeder. Given I've got nine frames across, I can fit now seven frames across with an internal frame feeder built in there. Uh, Hive IQ will actually be coming out with a, a top feeder which I think would be a better option once it's available, but for the time being the, the frame feeder works fine in Hive IQ. So it does come with a queen excluder and the queen excluder literally sits inside the actual uh, hive body and the beauty of that is it's not leaving any gaps again for any uh, small hive beetle or unwanted uh, airflow coming in through the side of the hive. So it's actually sitting within the actual hive body. I do find that it's a little bit hard to get out and you will need a hive tool just to lift it up but if you've got a hive tool in your hand it's super easy. So the beauty of the Hive IQ entrance is it's a three part uh, entrance where you can actually reduce the size of the entrance as required. So you can either fully close the hive and know that it's securely closed or you can open it up and say look I only want the the center piece open so you just literally push these down, push that up, boom it's got these little magnets in there so it's really easy to open up different sections of the hive depending on the configuration you require at the time. Just a quick look at the bottom board, we have a ventilated bottom board here, so you get a nice bit of ventilation in there, although in saying that it's not like a wooden beehive that you just need loads of ventilation, unfortunately the wooden beehives I find you do get so much condensation built up inside the hive, whereas these hives because of the quality of the insulation, the, the six times insulation factor, you don't need quite as much ventilation, so this works really well. Last thing here, this is actually a pollen collector. Uh, I haven't actually got that feature built into this particular hive, but there is a pollen collector option that you can install there. I'll just quickly turn it over. You've got these um, uh, uh, like rails here that you can actually put a Varroa board in. Uh, and lastly, at the very front of the, uh, there's these little electronic gadgets here that they've just come out with an app that's still in the beta version, but you can actually scan this and keep hive records directly on your phone in the app. Uh, really a little clever. Uh, and again, it's super light, you've got to love how light they are.